Hey guys, I am here with the brand new Charm Minis from Rose Art. I want to thank the company for sending me this deluxe jewelry studio set. I'm really excited to open it and start playing with it. A little bit about it though, the Charm Minis Deluxe Jewelry Studio comes with more than 100 combinable pieces and a jewelry stand that serves as a charm making studio, charm organizer, and display piece. The charms can be created in a range of colors and themes such as sweet treats, pies, ice cream cones, etc. and fashion icons, stars, hearts, and butterflies. It's so exciting. I'm most excited about, you know, the, the treats. The treats. I love jewelry or like like food, little foods. Uh, these are easy to make. Girls combine charm pieces that easily fuse with brushed on water so no glue is needed. Sounds perfect. <laughs> After making the bracelet or necklace by adding a jump ring, the fun continues by placing the creation into the glitterizer, which is located on the jewelry stand, to add an additional pizzazz. Add a coat of finishing glaze and creators will see their custom charms completed and ready to wear. It is completely personalized so no two charms will be the same. So exciting. Uh, let's see, what, what's it retail? It retails at $24.99. So exciting. And, and, they're going to be offering two charm and bracelet making accessory packs for $5.99 each. So there will be an animal themed charm pack and a metallic bracelet pack so I'm definitely going to need to get the animal one. <laughs> So anyway, let's go ahead and get this out of the box so we can take a closer look at it and start making our jewelry. Here is the instruction manual. This is what it will look like at some point. <laughs> and then you get contents list and then instructions obviously assembling it and everything. And I will get that assembled in just a moment. Creating your charm. It looks pretty easy, I would think. Uh, we'll just we'll just hope it's it 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 looks as, it is as easy as it looks. So this is what you get inside the package. You get uh, the, the stand here you got assemble. You got the the pieces, you got all the little pieces which are plastic, so well they feel plastic. I don't know what the actual material is. So I'm really interested to see how this all works. We got like the chocolate, the strawberry, and some blueberry. Got lots of lots of different colors. So let me go ahead and get everything out and then we will take a closer look at it. Okay, you guys, here is the stand all set up. I did set it up differently than what the direction said. For these arms, you were supposed to pull, uh, make sure they were facing, oh wait, no, maybe. For these arms, you're supposed to make sure they were facing up, uh, like these ones, but I made them facing down because I think it looked better. <laughs> and I think I could still hook things onto them. So anyway, that is the, the stand there. It's really nice. I like it. I like it. It's a good jewelry stand. Uh, down at the bottom here, we have we have a glitter thing going on here. And we have our water thing. This is where we put our water in. And this thing, I don't know what this is. Is this, oh, this is for the glitter thing. And you put it on top and then you the glitter around like so. Where is the glitter? Did we get glitter? I didn't see any. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. That's for later on in, in the process. I don't even know if I want to make mine glittery, to be honest. Uh, but I did, did open all of these and you get, and they're rubbery. I totally thought they were hard plastic when they're in the package. I opened all of them and I picked out the ones that I wanted to make. So we're going to be making a donut, we're going to make a pie, and then we're going to make an ice cream cone. So I got all the pieces right here that I wanted to use. And then we have the jump rings here. So I went ahead and just got some water and we have the little paint thing here. Typically put it in here and then you put that, you hook that on top and that stays there. It's like nail polish basically. But I just have a little tray of water here I'm gonna use instead. And let's see, let's see, what are we gonna make first? Let's keep it simple and let's make the ice cream cone first. So we have, let me try to get this to focus. It's probably, there we go, okay, it'll work. So, let me move the water over here where I can see it. So, we need to just put on some water like that, from what I understand. And then, we take our first, do we use chocolate first? And then you hold, do you hold it on? Hold on, wait. Let's just hold it like that for now. While I read it, it says, when handling charm pieces, make sure your hands are dry. Set the pieces you want to use to build your charm. Okay, we got that, blah, 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 blah. Hold the pieces together for approximately 30 seconds and watch them magically fuse. Okay, so 
We'll hold them there for a little bit. Repeat step one for stacking and fusing pieces together. Uh, for best adhesion strength between two charm pieces, make sure to add water and connect on the largest surface of the area. Okay. And then when you want to add a jump ring, which honestly, I don't know if I, I guess I will to some of these, but some of them I won't because I like just having mini foods. Uh, to finish building your charm, add the jump ring by applying this small amount of water to the ring and hold against the charm for approximately 30 seconds. Next, hang your charm on the hook of the jewelry tree and allow the charm to dry for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go with that because we have to hold it and do another layer anyway. So let's go a little bit of water there. Let's do vanilla next. Ooh, I really like the chocolate and the vanilla going on there. That looks good. And then, I'm, I know I didn't follow the rules, but I'm just gonna stack another one, a strawberry on there. That way, when I hold it together, I need to hold it. Oh no, I touched it when my hand was wet. I only need to hold it together for 30 seconds once. Look at that though, I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. This is really cool, I will hold it even more. But oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever, I love it. I love, like just look at it, it's an ice cream cone. I think the cone could have been bigger, because the ice cream scoops are a little giant. But I think this looks really cool. Oh, it's fallen. Oh wait, they're fused. They are fused together. I mean, they're probably not like 100% fused yet. Because you have to wait 30 seconds. But, oh my goodness, it's amazing. Because look, like that would have fell off. You could totally tell. Let me just set this down. Yes, it'll set down. Okay, we can build the rest of them. Follow the instructions though when you're making it. Um, I'm going to put water here and here. Okay, and then, oh no, I never got a center. Oh no, 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 no. Let's, oh, that's not good. Uh, um, <laughs> small problem. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer it. It's gonna be like a, I'm just gonna put that there. We have white. Uh, let's get, well, we can make a Nepal Neapolitan thing for this as well. Okay, I got this, I got this. I'm just picking, I'm picking the ones off. Oh, my ice cream fell off, over. Uh, let's pick you back up. Stay, stay. Okay, next, let's get some more water on here. Let's add it onto the white. And then we'll put a strawberry on. Okay, perfect. Oops, I made that slide off. And then, and then, and then, and then, Let's go ahead and add the brown, aka chocolate finish on here. The crust is chocolate, so. Let's see. Well, that's cool. Oh, you guys can't even see it. I wasn't focused on that, but it's really cool. So this one's not as good as I thought it would be. I don't know. There has to be an actual middle. I think these were just tops, you know what I mean? I don't know where it is, though. I don't know about that. <laughs> this one's a little uh, iffy. I'll just hold that together for a minute. And then we do have the hook, and there's a flat side there. So I am going to just dip it a little bit in water, and then I'm going to put it on here. So I'm going to just hold this here and speed up the video. Okay guys, it's staying for the most part. I'm just gonna set it here and let it do its thing while we make the donuts. So I have the bottom of the donut here and I'm gonna make this one a strawberry glazed donut. Let's get that going. This one looks so cool. Just look at it. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> little sprinkles on top and everything. And then I'm gonna make a chocolate with white glaze. Let me do that now. Let's get a little water on there. And then we'll add this bit on. Yummy donuts. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, we need to glaze them next and glitter them. I'm only going to glitter the one, I think. Oh, I'll only glaze and glitter the one. So what you do is there's glaze in here, glaze pot, and then you'll Paint it with glaze and then you'll stick it in there and then the glitter will 
go on it so that it'll stick on the glaze and we can do it that way so let me go ahead I'm gonna start loading the glaze or the <laughs> the glitter thing so from what I understand you put glitter right here uh, let me grab it real quick this is such a small little bag of glitter I gotta make a small hole though because it'll be a disaster okay all right we got the glitter maybe I should have loaded the glitter last that probably would have been better uh, and then I have the glaze pot here. Oh man, okay. And I'm just going to use that same brush. Hold on one second, I have my paper towel here. I'll use the same brush to paint on the glaze. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna do this charm here. And I think I'm just gonna do like, what do you think, glitter for the top? If not on the crust, maybe this whole thing I'll do glitter. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, oh that wasn't even focused. Sorry guys. So I'm gonna put this on there so the glitter doesn't fall out. And then we put it in there like so. And then I don't know how well you can see it. Let's see if I can get a closer look here. It's not really visible, but what you do is you push down on this now, and it's it's putting the glitter on your on your thing. You can't really see it that well. I could totally see it on the piece. So I'm wondering if I forgot to put the glitter catch in there. <laughs> There's a glitter catch. There is. Um, oh, it's fine. It's too late now. It's a little drawer. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Okay, so my verdict on the glitter thing is it's okay. Hold on, let me get it focused. It looks good on the top, but if you want the glitter to be on the side, you're probably gonna have to flip it yourself to get the glitter on the sides. Or you could even do it yourself. Like, let's, let's just do it ourselves over here. That's excessive, but we got it, we got it. See, there we go. Here, let's get it. Let's get a closer look. That's what I was going for. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Uh, I'll put that back there. We could just take a look at our our stuff we made. We made this nice little ice cream cone. It's perfectly dry. It's it's fused together. It's amazing. I love it. I think that's really cool. Uh, I personally probably won't use this for jewelry jewelry, but I would like to make little foods like this. You can use this for your Barbies or whatever, and you have donuts, and then I have another donut there. And then, and then we do have a bag of ropes. I'm gonna call them ropes, they're not ropes, they're just bracelets. Uh, you grab one of these. Let's just grab this blue one really quickly. Nope, we're not gonna grab the blue one because that's too difficult to grab. So this is this one's like a necklace. It's stretchy. So what you do is you take one end and you loop it, put it through the the hole of that thing that you just made, and then you'll tie it off. Or you could use the little clip things. This is none of this is in focus, the little clip things. Or you could just tie it off. I mean it's stretchy. So I would just tie it to about here and make myself a little bracelet. I think this is so much fun. This is like fun for days too. Like I, this was not even all of it. I have all of these. Like there's a lollipop one. And the cool thing is you can make, like I said before, you can make like fashion ones. There's clouds and hearts and stuff. I just chose to make the, 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 I almost said vegetables and the desserts. Oh wait, oh no, that's not the middle. I thought that was the middle. <laughs> But I chose to make the desserts because, I mean, I'm more into that. But there's so much that you can do with these. And plus, they're coming out with the refill pack. So that's going to be super awesome. You guys are going to have to let me know which one we made today was your favorite. I'm going to choose the ice cream cone. But the donut's, like, in second place. Like, oh, that looks so good. Let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. Thank you again to the company for sending this over to me to share with you guys. This is super awesome. Make sure you check it out at your local stores. I, I think it's it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. But let me know your favorite. Also make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single day. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.